Here's a quick sneak peek at the hydrogen station, the Iwatani station in La Habra coming on Beach Boulevard there. So we have two stations, one here, two, and interesting design because it seems like you can come in both ways. I feel like that might convince up or uh, confuse some people. But here it is at the AM PM on beach. For us personally, this is a great spot. But here we go. Check that out. Right off of beach, the closest major intersection is beach and Imperial and beach and Rosecrans. So it's between those two. The city of La Habra, neighboring Buena Park and Fullerton. Looks like they have almost everything done already. So I see, you can see the system here. It turns on, or it is on. And I wish it was $10.23 a kilogram. Um, but yeah, same nozzles as the one that Air Products uses, Wall Code Doe. Um, this is the same nozzle at uh, the Diamond Bar Station for Air Products. So I'm happy about that. I have been to one station in, I believe it's Hawaiian Gardens, um, and that one was fine, right off the highway. Here's a POS system, um, here we go. So it is separate, uh, a little different concept from Air Products and True Zero. Got the emergency push turn off there. So a slightly different setup, but nevertheless, we have these great nozzles. H70 only, which is great. I still don't fully understand why you would use H35 um, when you could just pause or stop the fueling for H70 and do the same, pretty much the same thing. But someone, if you know any better, or if you know better than me, tell me in the comments, educate me. But here it is, a little preview at the Arco station, AM PM Arco station on beach. Oh yeah, and a quick update on the crack. See right there. So I'm gonna try to get this so you can see it. See right there. I don't know if it's coming up well, but I get a good angle here. Alright, maybe this not working very well either. But the crack ends right here. And it goes along here and then goes to where it initially cracked. Right there. If you can see that. But yeah. We got a quote from Toyota. It's $1,800 before, before um, tax. $1,800. Pretty much $2,000 after tax. So, yep, I just called Safe Flight and I called two other, two other local shops that do window, that do glass, and they actually don't even have the glass. So, um, if you know of anyone or any company that stocks it outside of the OEM's Toyota, please let me know. But for those of you that don't know, if you ever crack your windshield, it's gonna be two thousand dollars essentially after service, and tax, and and obviously the glass. So. There you go.